uh, about lost my left foot. Uh, four wow. operations, two skin grafts, keep my foot, took two years to get it to heal up. Uh, how are you surviving out here? Uh, holding a sign. Okay. Half the time I eat out of the dump. Wow. I got stabbed myself. You got stabbed? Stabbed my left leg. Started out addicted to pain pills and then fentanyl. What's up, YouTube? Top Flight USA, back with another one. How you doing, brother? Pretty good. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Um, what's your name, age, and where you from? Jeffrey Grave Kirkman. Age is 51. From Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay. 51 from Greensboro. Uh, what side of Greensboro did you grow up on? Right here on the uh, north side. Okay. That's what's up. Uh, are you homeless? Yes, sir. How long you been homeless? Been homeless for about three years. Okay. Three years ago, what exactly caused you to be homeless? Um, my um, diabetes, uh, about lost my left foot. Uh, four wow. operations, two skin grafts, keep my foot, took two years to get it to heal up. What exactly happened that almost made you lose your foot? Um, got an infection in my foot. And uh, I waited four days to go to the hospital like an idiot. And it, uh, cellulitis set in it. Wow. So they had to uh, break it down to the bone. Oh, wow. So uh, did that uh, legally make you uh, disabled? Yeah. Uh, are you getting a disability check for that? No, sir. Wow. So uh, how are you surviving out here? Um. Holding a sign. Okay. Half the time I eat out of the dump. Wow. So, if you don't make any money uh, panhandling, you have to go in the dumpster to find food. Yes, sir. Wow. How does that make you feel to have to do that? Terrible. Self esteem is the lowest ever been in my life. Wow. Holding a sign and runs it down. Self esteem down. Wow. Just begging. Begging. I ain't never begged. I've worked since I was 14, 15. Paid taxes. When the last time you had a job? 2019. 2019. Yeah. Somewhere in there. 19, 20. Wow. So. If you could work, you will. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's just because of the disability that you have right now, that's what's hindering you. Yeah, that you're being homeless and there's ain't no no ride. Uh, just stuck right here. Can't get nothing done. Wow. You know, can't move forward with anything. So it's stuck right here. But then it's smile on here. A half mile. Wow. So what's the reason? that you can't get disability, uh, I would think because of your situation, you should qualify. Yeah, uh, the doctors didn't let me know that it was gonna be two years for my foot to heal. So I didn't sign up for disability and I thought I was gonna be able to go on back to work. And uh, now because of two years of hobbling off of one leg, uh, now they say I need a right hip replacement. Wow. So, that situation caused another one. Yep. And now you need a hip replacement. Wow. You can only imagine being homeless with a bad hip and a bad leg. Yeah, so you yeah, gotta walk everywhere. Wow. So what do you uh what is your plans? Do you plan on trying to trying to get disability or like, what do you have in mind right now? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign up. I was supposed to have my hip placed in uh, August, September now, but they wouldn't do it because I'm homeless. Wow. I've got to find somewhere to move before I can get my hip replaced. Do you have any insurance? No. Uh, some type of insurance but it ain't much it don't cover nothing. Just a memory. Wow. Um, 
kind of disability insurance, sure enough. Right. Uh, let's just dip into your childhood just a little bit. We're going to go back just a little bit. Uh, do you have any siblings? Yeah. Um, are you the oldest or? I'm the baby. You're the baby out of all your siblings. Okay. Uh, would you say you had a fairly normal childhood growing up? Fairly normal. Okay. Did you grow up in a two-parent household? Yes. Okay. How was that growing up with two parents? It's good. It was good. I had to work. My dad uh, worked uh, farming and uh, we build, he was a mechanic, we build transmission. I had to work in the garage and ride tractors. Okay. So you pretty much um, worked all your life since you was young yeah. with your hands. Ten year old. Wow. I've been doing heat and air conditioning for twenty seven years. Oh really? That's so you, you got your H uh certification. Yeah. Wow, so if, if you could yeah. work right now you'll be making pretty good money. Thirty, forty dollars an hour. Wow. Uh what's your highest grade level? Associate's degree. So you went to college? Wow. 2014, 15, 16, 16. Oh, wow. Uh, have you ever been diagnosed with any mental disorders? ADHD. Okay. Uh, what's the craziest thing you've seen out here while being homeless? I guess it's the sheep. Wow. You seen somebody get shot before? Oh, yeah. Wow. I got stabbed myself. You got stabbed? Stabbed my left leg. Wow. How long ago did that happen? A year. A year ago? Wow. Or you know, over a blanket. Over a blanket? Over a blanket. So you got stabbed in your left leg over a blanket? Sir. Wow. That's crazy. Um, do you have any addictions? Yes. Oh, um, started out addicted to pain pills and then fentanyl. Okay. Um, so how long have you been doing uh, fentanyl? Fentanyl for about uh, four or five years. Four or five pain years. Pills. All together, it's probably been ten, twelve years since I started going to the doctor and was. Hurting, back broke, neck broke, hips didn't broke. Uh, they started on pain medication, and then they cut it off. They wouldn't give pain medication anymore. So they ended up doing the pain now. Wow. Um, how does it feel when you don't have it? Sick. It's really sick. Wow. Would you say... Um, um, is it hard getting off of that, or? Yeah, it's probably the hardest thing. Yeah, I've, I've done everything. I've been doing. I've been. I've smoked pot, cocaine, and alcohol. I drink twenty-four beers a day, fifth of liquor a day. I quit all of them. I've even quit cigarettes. But the fentanyl, heroin, whatever, opiates, is the hardest thing I ever tried to quit. I've been going back and forth to the methadone clinic, you know, uh, treatment, you know, trying to put myself with this heroin. Does the methadone work? It, it, it stops you from doing the fentanyl, but the addiction off of the, the methadone is worse. Really? Yeah, the withdrawals off the methadone is worse than the fentanyl. I heard somebody say that before, so... That must be true. Definitely. Definitely. Wow. Definitely. Um, would you say it's your addictions that's holding you back right now? Somewhat. Somewhat. You know, kind of trapped. You know, tied to it. Tied to it. Where I, you know, you're thinking, oh, I, have, I need to have it every day, every other day. Okay. And if I don't, then I'll be sick. I can't get nothing done anyway. Right. 
So do you self, uh, do you see yourself getting clean in the near future? I'm trying. That's why I've been working on. I got it down to a minimum at this point. Okay. Ten dollars a day. That's trying good. To, uh, not increase it. Keep it manageable. Or I'm trying to get up out of here. Right. At this point. Okay. Uh, if you could tell the government something about homelessness, what would you say? Um, need some help getting a place to live. Um, hard to go to work and pay for a place to live. If you uh, if you got nowhere to live, if you're homeless, it's hard to get up and go work a job, be consistent, get up and get to a job with no vehicle. For me, it's hard for me to walk. So I can I have to go and get near the bus stop. That's the hardest thing is getting to it, the interview, get a job, then get back to the job, make it to it every day. There's no no vehicle, no home, no alarm clock, you know, no bathroom to get ready in. Right. Um, if your family happens to come across this video, what do you think their thoughts will be? Maybe they're a little wrong. I think it's a lot easier to get up and go to work and get off the street than it is. I think it's pretty easy. It's just a matter of going to work. Okay. All right. Uh, I appreciate you for doing this interview, man. Uh, some of the questions I got for you. Uh, like I said, I uh, appreciate you for doing this interview. God bless you, brother. No problem. Thank you.